My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all the people. My dear friends in Christ, these words, so often sung during the divine office, became manifest in the presence of the entire Norbertine community, both professed and lay, on August 27, 2016, during First Vespers of St. Augustine. Kneeling before Abbot Richard Antonucci, with hands intertwined in his, I proceeded with the simple vows declaration that marks the next stage along the spiritual path, a journey that God so gracefully sent me on some four years earlier when I was accepted into this Norbertine community as an affiliate. My previous two years as a novice was a remarkable period of spiritual growth for me, a time to grow closer to God and my community, while undertaking perhaps the greatest challenge known in all of Christendom, the process of dying to self. Two years into this process, I continue and will continue till the day of resurrection to fully empty myself of the me, myself, and I mentality so that I may be more filled with the endless self-sacrificing love of Christ Jesus. Over the previous weeks and months before declaring my simple vows, one reoccurring question directed to yours truly was made audible from the lips of the lay community present at my vow ceremony. That question? What will change for you? I replied, visibly not much, just a simple alteration to my sash, which will probably go unnoticed unless you have a discerning eye. However, it's in this very unassuming alteration that signifies the greatest change of all, the knot. You see, my friends, I am now bound to both Christ and my Norbertine community in a very special way. Through the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience, I further conform my life to Christ, a life that mirrors the way he lived, and one that places everything into the hands of God the Father. As religious, we are bound to Christ and to one another through these evangelical councils, so that his mission of spreading the gospel, both in word and deed, may become the paramount reason for our existence. As a simply professed member of this community, the blessings received are too numerable to mention. But if I may be afforded the opportunity to highlight just one, it would have to be the joy of dedication and service to my new family here at Dalesford Abbey, for this truly brings immense satisfaction to my daily life. One final word about the knot I alluded to earlier. I know that whenever the circumstances of life attempt to loosen this knot that so lovingly binds me to Christ Jesus, I can always count on God and my confreres to be there to tighten it back up so that I may continue to love and serve the Lord in a way that is most pleasing to him.